Hello, this is the Forgotten Prime, and uh, today I am going to rant about Brie. Well, about her, but mostly about what somebody else wrote about her, and they're basically sticking words in my mouth. Don't do that, please. It, it, it's like you don't really see the disaster you're walking yourselves into. But, eh, when everything falls apart around your ears and you guys are broke, I'll be the one laughing. <clears throat> Stop telling Brie Larson how to act. It's exhausting. Uh, we're not telling her how to act. We're asking her to stop treating people like shit just because she's rich. Uh, no, it's not because she's the, the so-called bestest number one woman to get into the industry. Eh, eh, uh, Sigourney Weaver, Aliens, uh, Milia Roscovich, uh, sorry if I screw up your last name, from the uh, Resident Evil franchises. Come on, people. Every time. Not just me. There are other people are saying the same thing. You're not breaking any boundaries. You're not breaking any sea glass ceilings. You're not bumping anything because it's already been gone since the 70s. But yet, for some ungodly reason, you guys seem to want to create your own renaissance all over again. Get over yourselves. You're not that important. I'm not Im that important. I'm a nobody. I'm just a geek who wants to have his geek culture. But yet, you guys seem to want to drive it right into the ground. Because we are geeks. Well, here's what I have to say to you. Fuck you. Get out of my hobby. As fast as you can. Uh, I love hobbies. Because the fact that they're a, a spot that I could just unwind. Have fun. Be able to watch my stuff that's funny and entertaining. And enjoy myself. This, this is drama. In real life. I don't want drama of real life in my stories. If I, <clears throat> It's like, that, that's what, I, I don't mind certain types of dramas in my stories. It's a story. It's not real. But then every, where I look, you guys are like, if it's a big deal, it's a big deal. We're making it real. We're making it real. Uh, you can't make fiction fact. It's not possible. I myself am very geeky. I love my imagination because it can go to great levels. And yet you you guys nitpick about everything. And yet you, you guys like, okay, she's being bullied because she's a girl. Oh, no, she's being bullied because she's a whammon in Captain America. No, it's because the way she puts herself everywhere she goes. She acts like she owns everything because she's a woman. She don't own me. I will not bow to your queen, Brie Larson. You continue to push that type of I'm goddess, you're underneath me attitudes. This person just recently saw this film, tried not to get jaded by the two-sided war party but here's the kicker here's someone who doesn't really give a hoot about the f stuff that molded many of our lives including my own these people don't the people who are creating this don't give a hoot they don't cra give a crap they want to push real life and nonsense i have nothing against those who are lgbt or whatever if you want that type of character, make it yourself. Stop being fucking lazy. Get off, off your ass and do something. I did. I worked. I earned my living. Now I want to actually sit back, relax, and actually find my hobby and enjoy it. And When I finally sit, get to sit back and relax, all the new shit is shit. This... Right here is Captain Marvel. That is not Captain Marvel. You guys chose her. I didn't choose her. When we did it, there was an old 
magazine back in the day called Wizard Comics, uh, Wizard Magazine, The Guide to Comic Books. And in it, it would have a mm, the book, and sometimes it would come with inserts, cool cards, a poster, uh, a mailer filler to get new comic books that you couldn't get anywhere else. Those were fun, but yet somebody decided to be a dumbass and drove it right into the ground. Typical greed. Here we go, all over again. We got typical greed in the thing. You keep following this, you're not going to have anything left over. This is Miss Marvel. I liked her. She was cool. She was badass. A lot of things have changed over the years. Her power got taken from her because the fact that Rogue was on the bad guy's side for the longest time. Rogue earned humility and humanity, more humanity from her than anybody else. This person doesn't have any of that. That's what I'm trying to point out. If she could actually start showing some humility and some respect for others, I will not condone her, con, 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 uh, endorse her any of it. <clears throat> because the fact that they want to enforce the uh, I am goddess attitude. She is no goddess. She's an arrogant little bitch who thinks that the world should get on their knees and kiss her feet. I won't. So, this is basically my statement to all of those of you who want to continue to force your doctrine into comic books. I will continue to not buy them. I will look at them online. And then tell the people what I thought about it. And if they agree with me, cool. If they don't, cool. I don't care. I love good stories. I love co good, easy con conversations about whether we like things or not. And yet, here's the thing. Whenever we try to cr criticize her about the things that she says about us, when we try to say it back, she calls us the bad guys. Where does it end? I'm not a bad guy. I'm just a geek. I'm just an otaku of that genres. Yes. I'm all over the bloody place. I don't care. But what I do care about is that when people put words in my mouth, you don't know me. You don't know the life that I've lived. And you don't have the right to earn that right. None of you do. Because the fact that the way I see it, the world is turning into a big bag of shit. And people like this woman is continuing to stick us in it further. Because the ignorance and arrogance of people. I respect everyone when they respect me back. And that's my last word on that front. With great power comes great responsibility, and you don't have any of it. Adios, y'all.